The year was 1954. Roger Bannister broke the four-minute mile. America was treated to developments as diversified as the Corvette, the Wheelo, and the Fish Stick. And in what would turn out to be a super catalyst for economic growth, President Dwight Eisenhower proposed the interstate highway system. The Dow Industrial Average stood at 403. The average household income was just under $4,000, while the average new home cost $22,000. And in Columbia, Michael J. Mungo, a former radio announcer and University of South Carolina graduate, planted the seeds for one of the nation's largest family-owned residential real estate development companies. The American dream was alive and well. His ambition was fueled by a childhood of poverty and hardship. His father was deceased when he was eight. His mother worked for the Roosevelt Era Works Progress Administration to feed herself and her seven children. In December of 1965, Time Magazine featured Michael Mungo, then 37, as one of America's young millionaires under the age of 40. The legacy of the Mungo Company is a true rags to riches story. My brother and I lived in a dormitory when we went to college. We didn't have a home to go to. We lived there 12 months a year. And uh, it's, uh, and I didn't think I was underprivileged. I felt like I was really privileged. I, would, I was in a nice place, a nice building. We had a sheetrock company. We were subcontractors in sheetrock. And, and when I was a senior in college, my brother and I were making twice what a full professor was at the university as a full-time student. Since 1954, it has been the purpose of the Mungo family to build homes for generations of South Carolina families. In fact, more than 14,000 homes in all, and there are many cases where there are three generations of the same family, each living in Mungo homes. Now the way we do it now, one, one of my sons runs the Sun Division, one runs the building company, and, it's, and, and they both do it much better than their father. They're both smarter than the father, so, uh, you know, which they wanted to prove, but that wasn't any big deal. That wasn't all that hard to do. And, uh, but they're, they're extremely good at what they do. Son Stewart began his tenure in the family business upon his graduation from Wofford College in 1974 and actually began running the company after Michael Mungo's heart attack and retirement several years later. Stephen joined the company after his graduation from Wofford College in 1981. A visionary, Stewart's expertise has been land acquisition, development, and infrastructure, while Stephen's passion has been home building. Under the brothers' leadership, Mungo Homes is the area's most award-winning builder as repeat winner of the Builder of Integrity Award, numerous Regal Awards in Columbia, Prism Awards in Charleston, Raleigh's MAME Awards, and now Savannah's Summit Awards. In addition, Mungo can boast of the only company with three South Carolina Housing Hall of Fame inductees, Michael Mungo, Stuart Mungo, and Stephen Mungo. In recent years, Mungo Homes has claimed the most prestigious national awards in the home building industry. In 2008, Mungo Homes became the only South Carolina-based builder to be recognized with the National Housing Quality Award for quality achievement and operational excellence. In 2012, Mungo was named the National Green Advocate of the Year for the exclusive House Smart program. And Builder Magazine named Mungo Homes America's Best Builder 2012, which honors the best new home builders in the country based on overall achievement in housing and excellence in finance operations, design construction, customer service, quality, community industry service, and marketing. There were four winners for 2012 based on number of closings, and Mungo Homes was selected as America's best builder in the category with the highest number of closings. With brothers Stuart and Stephen still at the helm, Mungo currently builds in Columbia, Charleston, Myrtle Beach, Greenville, Spartanburg, and Sumter, South Carolina, as well as Raleigh, North Carolina, and Savannah, Georgia. Michael J. Mungo passed away in April of 2011, but would be proud of the third generation involved in the family business today. Stewart's son Matthew and daughter Mary served the company in the Columbia office, and Stephen's son Ward has recently joined the staff in Charleston. Currently ranked the 34th largest builder in the country by Builder Magazine, Mungo sold 917 homes company-wide in 2012 with a goal of more than 1,000 sales in 2013. Mungo Homes. Quality. Value. Stability. The smart choice since 1954.